doesn't stop. The officials are Jim Clark, Ted Bernhardt, and Lewis Brillo. This an all-star game series that dates back to 1951. The first two all-star games played at the old Boston Garden last season in Philadelphia. The West beat the East 135 to 120. And we're just about set. Barb, I don't care what Michael wanted. This is how it should be. Michael Jordan should be starting the last All-Star appearance in his career. Michael, who will celebrate his 40th birthday in eight days on February the 17th in his 15th and final NBA season. Tim Duncan, or no, Duncan had stepped in, but Yao Ming will go against Ben Wallace of the Detroit Pistons, and it's controlled by the West. Think about Indiana's problem at the end of the season. They must re-sign Reggie Miller. Jermaine O'Neal is someone they have to deal with. Then you talk about Michael Jordan finally scoring the basketball. And then Grant Hill, who's had an incredible year as a free agent as well. Stefan Marbury, the former net, acquired of the deal for Jason Kidd. And there's Sean Marion of the Phoenix Suns, who just came out, is guarding Jordan. Marco hits the jumper, and he just said, about time. I'm just, I'm just being honest about that ambassador's thing, because I think they do a, a very, very important job for our NBA. All right, here's Kobe Bryant from downtown from the field. Pierce off the pick. And Bryant gets it back. Garnett. Oh, my goodness, a bounce pass. A bounce pass from Kobe. That led to a dunk by Kevin Garnett. It can be done the simple way. First half, Yao Ming throws the lob for Shaquille O'Neal. And here comes Jordan with Garnett back. Michael Jordan with his third field goal. He has six points. Uh, Duncan with the mismatch. Oh, oh. And tipped home by Kobe Bryant. 25 points, 27 minutes at 15 points. And that comeback oh. in the fourth quarter. Kobe Bryant oh. taking to the rim and counts. And we go to some. Duncan finding Jason uh, right behind him and finished off by Kobe, and then Kobe staying with it, finishing with the left hand. Kobe Bryant, just three of seven. They are playing outstanding basketball. They are right up at the top there in the Western Conference. Oh, beautiful pass, the backdoor toss. Orange, purple. Just getting back to the game. Bryant with the pass to O'Neal. In his third quarter. You like me talking about metallic finishes, I can tell. Tracy McGrady. Shaq ignores, he says to his teammate, not right now, just leave me alone. Michael Jordan able to hit the fadeaway over Gary Payton. Another offensive rebound for the West. Finally, Jermaine O'Neal able to get to the ball. Here's Jordan hit out the reach. He shows them how to compete. And he shows them how intensively he is. You know, I tell that to everybody. Marv? <laughs> that is high praise. And Michael Jordan with his 10th point. So he has now passed by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He could not tune into the NBA Finals last June until the fourth and final round. Marbury lost it. Fourth and final game, I should say. And here is part of the crowd looking for the... They wanted more. He 17 of the 25 in the third quarter. And back comes Jordan. The lead for O'Neal. The basket, they get Jermaine O'Neal running on the floor. This time, Pager lays it up. You see Shaq keeping it alive, and then Shaq gets his balance, finishes. And Wallace going to hustle it down. And Bryant going to keep the dribble. Uh, yes, he does. Gets it to Nash. It counts. And the foul. What a play by Kobe Bryant to race down that loose ball and handle the dribble. Yeah, he was tight rope walking along the sideline. Then when he saves it, he lands right into a bunch of cameramen down on the baseline. You'll see right here, it winds up landing on top of the camera, but saves it. Nash makes the recovery, and then the finish after the foul. For Cheryl Miller. Thanks a lot, Marv. 13 seasons in the league. Nine times he appeared in the All-Star Game. Gary Payton, the glove, legendary for his skills. Gary it's 12.42 in the afternoon in Shanghai, China.
checking out the action on Chinese television as we showed you earlier. Here's Jordan. Yes. Coming up on five minutes from adding in the fourth and the East with a 112-104 lead. Jason Kidd. And here's Michael Jordan. 16 for Jordan. He's got a much better arc and rotation on the ball in the second half. It's up in the air. He's given himself a chance to make those shots. And he's also being guarded by a bigger man who's given him a push. It's the biggest lead of the night. Here's Jordan with the change of pace. And rejected by Bryant. Jordan. And you know Kobe took great pleasure in that because of Michael stealing the ball from him from behind before. Here's Jordan with a flip. would like to see Michael Jordan take it at Sean Marion. And he does. But he was blocked. That shot deflected. And the West with an opportunity to take the lead. Kobe hit out of reach in with 10.1 remaining in this fourth quarter. At the other end, it falls on the reach in. And with the East over the limit. 10 and 1 tenth seconds remaining. Bryant. Jordan, guarded by Marion, checking the clock. Jordan with four, three, not over the hit. Duncan with the rebound, and we go to overtime. It's a uh, series that dates back to 1951. Bryant, yes. Bryant's had an outstanding game. That time, catches the ball, puts it on the floor. Keep the hit and still get it up on the board. Iverson has 29. He scored all seven East points in the overtime. And Kobe Bryant right back from downtown. Iverson for three. Rebounded by O'Neal. And O'Neal blocked from behind by Kobe Bryant. 21 remaining on the shot clock. And the 13th foul committed by the West. Oh, the steal by Bryant took it out of the hands of Kidd. Kobe Bryant. And Kobe with seven points here in overtime, plus a huge rejection, 17 at all. It's his competitive spirit that really separates himself. He competes each game each practice in the summers to get better and then rest up by five. This is one of those duels if you're the big team, do you stay with your big team? If you're the small team, can you take advantage of mismatches in your favor at the offensive end? Bryant drops it. Steve Francis from Kobe Bryant. It's a matter of running the floor, which we know Steve Francis has the ability to certainly go up, catch, and finish. Well, we're down to 10 seconds remaining in overtime, and Michael has the ball again guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway, yes! With four and eight ten seconds remaining, the West takes a timeout. Michael Jordan, not able to hit the game winner at the end of regulation, has just given the East a two-point lead. That was his 26th field goal attempt tonight. It takes a lot of energy to get this type of shot up and in. And at the end of regulation, the West failed to call a timeout so they could advance and take a last shot on Jordan's list. Here, they inbounded the ball instead of taking the timeout. Now it's in the backcourt with Garnett will inbound. The East up by two. Wallace applying the pressure on the inbound. It's broken up by Kidd, played by Bryant, Myers, and is fouled! With one second remaining, he was fouled in three-point territory. He'll have three shot attempts. Wow! Jermaine O'Neal looks like from here he runs out almost a steal by Jason Kidd. Now as Jermaine O'Neal goes for it, Right there, we see the body contact. It definitely is behind the three-point line. Not a smart foul. Kobe goes to the line with one second remaining in overtime. And now it comes down to the third shot. Michael Jordan goes over. Try and bother Kobe Bryant. 
surprising. Kobe missed at the end of regulation and now missed here. I would have counted him for all three. Only one second left. And he has tied the game at 1.38. The East will take a timeout. So much for that Michael Jordan possible game winner. And Jason Kidd looking for the catch and shoot right here. He finds Jordan. And the shot this time is blocked by Marion. And for the first time in NBA All-Star history, we go to double overtime. Michael Jordan going at Sean Marion. Hit a jumper to give the East a two-point lead. But with one second to go, Kobe Bryant was fouled in three-point land by Jermaine O'Neal. Hit two of the three. And that puts us at 138 apiece. 27 shot attempts, 9 for 27. Francis for three. Here's the 10-2 run that I had talked about. Exactly what I had feared because the West was warmed up in this whole thing. Marion with the steal. Kid try to get it back. Here's Bryant for three. Yes. The West has taken over. In the second overtime, they have hit all five of their shots. Bryant. Get it! Get it! And uh, Duncan able to return it to Kobe. The lob for Garnett. Final seconds. And uh, this one is over. In double OT. For the first time in NBA All-Star history. 155. 145.